It's about 1 p.m. right now. I got out of work a little bit early and I had all my hiking stuff with me, so I have time to do my first 4,000 footer of the winter this afternoon. I'm really excited. Right now I'm at Cannon Mountain. This is a ski resort, but I'm gonna hike up the Kinsman Ridge Trail. This is a trail I've done a bunch of times. Cannon is actually one of my favorite 4,000 footers and it was for me my last 4,000 footer when I was doing the list in like 2019. So I'm really excited to go up there. I don't think I've ever done it when there was snow on the ground. The summit of Cannon Mountain has a 360 degree view. Not positive if I'm gonna get that view because it was really blue skies like 15 minutes ago, but now the clouds are coming in and a lot of people are talking about maybe a snowstorm coming tonight. So we'll see what the weather brings. I'm just really excited to be out here. Before I start this hike, I wanna talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix. I'm gonna add one of these to my water right now so I can be super hydrated for this hike. It's been a very long week, a very long day, so I just wanna make sure I get the hydration that I need. There's a lot of electrolyte drink mixes out there, but really what sets Element apart is how good the ingredients are. There's no sugar, the ingredients are really clean, and it's got 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. That's such a great combination to replenish all of the sodium and electrolytes that you lose when you're sweating. So I have really been enjoying these lately. I just pulled out a random one earlier and I ended up with watermelon salt. So this is what I'm gonna be drinking for this hike. But the other ingredients in the sample pack include mango chili, lemon habanero, chocolate salt, orange salt, raw unflavored raspberry salt, and citrus salt. So there's some pretty fun choices. So go ahead to drinkelement.com slash Nahamsha. That's drink, L-M-N-T dot com slash New Hampshire and get a free sample pack with any purchase on their website. So thanks Element for sponsoring this video. I'm going to get all my stuff together right now and head up the trail. The temperature feels really nice right now. When I was in my car, it was 26 degrees, but I just checked the mountain forecast for the summit of Cannon, and I think it's a good decision that I decided to hike later in the day because it's actually warming up as the day goes on. So I think the summit should have a feels like temperature of three degrees and maybe like 10 mile per hour wind. But earlier in the day, it had a feels like temperature of negative 18 degrees and the wind was like 30 miles an hour so i think it calmed down a little bit but we'll see also the trail today is super packed snow but it's a whole layer of ice under the snow so it's really slippery my spikes are working really well i kind of wish i remembered to bring trekking poles i think those would have helped a little bit but i'm doing well so far it's a really nice quick trail i kind of like hiking in winter because you don't have to worry about like exactly where you're stepping so much it's just really smooth so like no like roots and rocks to kind of navigate through because the whites get pretty gnarly when it comes to that <laughs> It's snowing a little bit, but I think I'm right around the corner from the first lookout, or the first major lookout of uh, Franconia Notch. That is Franconia Ridge. Oh, I'm 
it's so clear and so beautiful today. When I saw clouds on the forecast, I did not think I was going to get a view like this, but that's amazing. <laughs> that's why Cannon Mountain is one of my favorite mountains to climb because, yeah, Franconia Ridge is fun to hike, but it's also really fun to just be across the street from it and looking at the whole thing. That right there is the summit of Cannon. There's gonna be like an observation tower. So I'm gonna do the quick hike over there and maybe get an even better view. So this trail is pretty hard packed and easy to walk on, but I want to show you if you take just like a couple steps off the trail, you sink all the way down. <laughs> this is the observation tower at the top of Cannon. It's really nice, it's really cold up here. That's Franconia Ridge. You can see the top of the ski mountain right over there. There's people still going down. I definitely can't stay up here too long because it's really cold. And just taking like a couple of video clips make my fingers freeze. But I just got my Bluetooth thermometer out of my fanny pack, so I left it. I'm leaving it out for a second so I can see what the temperature is up here. But yeah, it's windy. It's cold. It's probably feels like it's zero degrees. <laughs> um, maybe I have a quick snack up here. Maybe it's a good time for a summit Snickers if it's not completely frozen. This hike is definitely short but steep. I climbed 2400 feet of elevation in just over two miles which is a lot. And actually the toughest part of this hike was actually the stairs up to this observation tower because it's steep but it's completely covered with snow and ice and even though there's railings it didn't really help that much but I'll check what this reads at maybe when I get back to the car when I feel a little warmer but yeah it's time to get back down actually a lot of snow is falling from this big structure behind me so let's just let's just hike back down let's be safe so I've been hiking down off the summit for like 15 minutes and I finally feel warm enough that like my fingers are comfortable so yeah it gets really scary up there with the wind I've been blowing my nose so much that this bandana is completely like rock solid. That was pretty gross. So I made a video a few weeks ago where I was doing a shakedown hike with my fully loaded backpack getting ready for my next long distance hike this year and I made a couple changes especially the hip belt and the fanny pack. So on this hike I have my full backpack with all my gear again but I've got the new fanny pack and the new hip belt just to see if it's comfortable because I don't have very many chances left to hike before I hit the trails. So far the fanny pack is amazing. I have it so full of snacks and a lot of gear and it's comfortable. The hip belt is good but for some reason on this backpack I feel like it's a little high. Like I feel like it's around like my belly button where I would I think prefer hip belt to be more around my hips but it's comfortable, so I'm not complaining, but maybe I can adjust a couple things, but I probably have like a really long torso, so I don't know. I'm gonna keep, keep an eye on that just to make sure it's fitting right. 
you have any guesses on what I'm hiking this year, leave them in the comments. I'll love to hear what you think. The announcement of what I'm doing is probably going to come the first half of March on this channel, so be sure to look out for that. I'm just not ready to announce it yet. Um, I don't really want people to know what I'm doing. When I did the Appalachian Trail, I announced it so far in advance and made all these pre-trail videos, but I'm just not feeling it this time. But once I am on trail and once I do announce it, then I'll post a lot of videos and I think it'll be fun for you guys to follow along. I am done with the hike. I'm back in the parking lot. I couldn't film much on the way down because I think my phone got cold. It told me it was at 1%, but then when I got back to the car and I checked, it was at 17%. So it was a pretty uneventful hike down, except I did fall pretty hard. The bottom of the spike on my right foot got caught in the tie in like the loop of my left foot. And I kind of tumbled down a little bit, but the trail was flat and I didn't get hurt, so that's very good. Um, yeah, the day was 4.1 miles. Took me just under three hours to do. I'm happy, the sun is still out. I kinda hope to do a hike after work, but I didn't know I was gonna get out of work so early, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. I did just check the Bluetooth thermometer from the summit. It said it was 23 degrees, but I bet with the wind, as strong as it was, it felt way below that. Very chilly hike, but I feel nice and warm now. And thanks for joining me on this hike. Um, it was really fun. And I really do like winter hiking, but I just didn't get the opportunity to do it too much this year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.